friends, welcome. Welcome to uh, Psychiatry Education Forum's Academy. Um, new topic, I think this is one of the clinically relevant topic that we see uh, frequently in our daily clinical practice. And the topic for today is understanding how to dose vernicillene or vernicillene, depending on how you say the name, for smoking cessation. Uh, and I am Dr. Harbinder Singh. I am the creator for Psychiatry Education Forums Academy membership, which we will talk about in the end. But before we talk, uh, I just want to go over some basic facts. So the studies have shown that people who try to quick nic uh, quit nicotine smoking, close to 80% return to smoking within first month, and less than 20% quit for close to six months, and close to only 3% remain abstinent from nicotine smoking for more than one year. So for that reason, it's very crucial for us to know the available treatment option. I'm talking about a medication option, but we all know medicines are not enough. We need psychosocial intervention, therapeutic intervention, in addition to psychopharmacological intervention. But this short video is mainly to understand how to dose this medication for smoking cessation. You can share this video with your patients um, or with your um, residents, with your students, because I personally use this myself to uh, teach my patients uh, on how to dose this, because the dosing can be confusing many times. So let's start. So first, um, a patient should start or uh, set a quit date. And from that date, a patient should go back seven days. And this is where a patient will start this medication. And this medication comes in 0.5 milligram and one milligram dosing. Um, so you start with the 0.5 milligram once daily dosing initially. And the point here is you, a patient should take it with uh, food and good amount of water, very important. So you start once a day and you take this for three days. And after three days, the dosing changes from once daily to twice daily, but the strength will remain the same, like 0.5 milligram twice a day. And you take this for four days. So this is your one seven days plan. And then you quit the smoking, nicotine smoking here and you will increase the dose to one milligram twice daily. And you continue this for 12 weeks and completely uh, till the abstinence is there. And you can actually repeat this um, for additional 12 weeks if needed. So this is very basic overview of how you dose this medication. But there is something called gradual approach as well. Right, You don't have to make your patient quit after that seventh day. Let me go back. That, that seventh day uh, when they completely quit smoking, uh, nicotine smoking. But for some people, it's difficult, right? For patients who are not sure that they can quit abruptly or who are not willing to quit abruptly, there is a gradual approach uh, to do that. And for that, what you do is you follow this medication plan but you ask your patients to reduce smoking by 50% for first four weeks, and then reducing smoking by additional 50% by four weeks, and then you completely stop by 12th week. And then you can uh, continue the treatment for additional 12 weeks for a total of 24 weeks. So the key is you have to meet where your patient is at with the nicotine smoking. And um, it's also mentioned, right? If somebody has done one cycle, they should, uh, and they are not successful completely, do try another cycle with uh, this approach. 
So this is a very basic overview. I hope this was clinically relevant. This is my email. Please reach out to me. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments on these videos, but I just want to talk to our medical professionals now. Uh, so we have um, Psychiatry Education Forum Academy's membership, which is only for our medical professionals. And in this membership, we have many sections. One of the section is on addiction psychiatry. And uh, we have many chapters, uh, but I have divided them into various sections ranging for alcohol use disorder, where I have discussed medications for this, uh, comparing medications for alcohol withdrawal, discussing alcohol withdrawal protocol for inpatient setting, and also discussing that gabapentin protocol for alcohol withdrawal. And then we have sections on opioid use disorders where I have discussed medications uh, indicated for uh, opioid use disorder treatment. I have discussed naltrexone XR, methadone dosing, methadone drug interaction, buprenorphine, and this new FDA approved medication called Brixadi, which is actually a long acting buprenorphine. And then we have section on nicotine use disorder. We just talked about vernaculine. Then we have bupropion SR, nortripline. I have compared them based on the articles published. Then we have a small section on cannabis use disorder where I have discussed the role of N-acetylcysteine. And then compiling all this into urine drug testing. We have like a very detailed lecture on understanding false positive urine drug screens. So friends, um, uh, if you're interested, you can go directly to psychiatryeducationforum.com and learn more about our academy membership. But I hope this was clinically relevant. I will see you all in our next video presentation. Till then, you all take care and bye for now. Thank you again.